PCWI instrumentation. The instruments and support you need for your industry. Inspection. Tips, tricks, traps and reality of surface profile. This is not about what you've already been taught about surface profile. It's additional information that you may like or need to know. Surface preparation is broken up into two areas. Surface cleanliness, class of last, and surface profile, roughness. Surface profile, also known as surface texture, anchor pattern, surface roughness, expressed as an average peak to valley height. It's about expanding and increasing the surface area to gain adhesion for the coating system. The blast medium should be viewed to see if it's suitable to give the profile required. Also that the style of surface profile is suitable for the coating that's being applied. What creates a very surface profile shape and height? Size of the medium, shape of the medium, weight of the medium, hardness of the medium, speed of the medium and the angle of impact. For measurement, you need an area where the surface shape will have no effect on the profile reading, an area that is free of pitting and rogue peaks, an area that best represents the profile that's been created, not the texture of the surface shape that pre-existed on the surface. You cannot measure the profile with test X tape or a needle gauge in this area. Use a visual profile comparator. You can see here the natural surface of the corroded steel. You may be able to use test X tape needle profile gauge in this area, although the pits and the hollows becomes part of the measurable profile. Best to use a visual profile comparator. Castings. Best to use a visual comparator as the surface waviness can become part of the measurement. Although that's called profile depth there, that would be better called a stray rogue peak. That as a reading would not represent the area as a surface profile reading. Readings like that needed to be excluded from the set of readings taken. That would be better called a stray rogue peak. A scattering of stray rogue peaks surface hackles can be detrimental to the coating system. This can be caused by foreign larger particles in the blast medium. A smaller gauge foot measurement area gives a more accurate test result. Peak the valley. Peak the valley you would think was peak B to valley C to give a profile height. Instead it may be peak B to valley A where you get a higher reading. There is no relationship between B and A as an anchor pattern. Area D could be taken as part of the profile readings, although it's a natural pit. Test X tape. Odd, isn't it, that you are not measuring the peaks, but instead measuring the hollows. Should you rub the peaks far too hard, you can reduce the height of the profile reading result. Needle profile gauge. The finer the needle on finer textures, the higher the profile reading result. Although it may not have a large impact on heavy profiles and shot peening results. Needle profile gauge. Random placing of the gauge on the surface would not always place the needle in the lowest part of the profile. By locating the needle in the lowest part of the profile then placing the gauge down would give you a higher profile reading. Just because you have measured the profile at the start of a project you still need to take new readings daily. Each blast nozzle should have the profile it produces checked. Far too many unwanted variables can creep into the process to reduce the profile height. Diminishing profile causes drop in grit pressure, new nozzle versus an old nozzle, grit worn out, reused, used too often, a finer grit being used, too much medium coming through the nozzle, low angle of impact, blasting into a corner, nozzle too close to the surface being blasted. Extreme profiles, how to reduce their impact on a coating system. You can re-blast the surface with a finer medium, this will take the profile height down. On a shop primer coating system, you may need additional thickness as the peaks may spot rust. A scattering of distinguishable profile peaks. Abrasive blasted surface. Reason, a small amount of newer grit mixed in with the older grit. This should not be considered as part of the surface profile as it is scattered. An older blasted surface that's been brush blasted over to reinvigorate it. Heighten the profile. Looks good but may well have a detrimental effect on the coating system. PCWI instrumentation, the instruments and support you need for your industry. Sales and surface, sales at pcwi.com.au.